Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have another submission from Chaser392 in his Panther 88. He is on Minsk in a standard battle in a Tier 8, Tier 7 game. Uh, Chaser sent a little note with this, so let's kind of highlight that. Uh, the Panther 88 was one of his first premium purchase that he made before he was really ready for it. Not surprisingly, he didn't do too well considering it is not noob friendly. <laughs> no, it's not. And uh, he decided to dust it off and take it out and uh, see how it does. So, Chaser, yeah, you're right. The, the Panther 88 is not a, a noob-friendly tank. Um, a, lot of, a lot of guys will play it wrong because they'll think it's got a real good, you know, hull and that. It's a good German tank. It is a, uh, a sniper. I mean, that, that thing, you know, that, that, that gun is just a, a good sniping gun. So... Anyway, uh, Chaser spawned over here in the south, and he is headed over here to the west side. Let's see if he can get some shots. Uh, Chaser, you're kind of wide open right there, so I would get out of that area if I were you. Uh, you know, maybe shooting on a run you know, might might be more beneficial for you. Uh, yeah, the 88 millimeter gun, uh, 240. Uh, Alpha with a 203 penetration on the AP and a 237 on the APCR. Um, you know, this is a flanking tank. It's got fairly good speed. Um, pretty quick reload, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've played the 88, to be honest with you. Uh, again, and I'd, Chaser, I'd really like to, to get your comments on this as to why you keep running binos in your medium tanks. I think you could just be so much uh, you'd be so much more helpful if you had the optics on them to be honest with you i mean unless unless you're going to play it as a purely a backline uh tree sniping bush sniping tank all uh, right then i can see the binos because you're playing backline um but i i know i don't know what your, the rest of your equipment is but uh, you're you're losing something by throwing on the binos that are only working every time you stop stay still uh, which is again taking your your medium tank out of the out of the battle. All right. So you got that LTTB up there. Uh, your heavies have taken into the city, and you're getting pushed hard, buddy. You're getting pushed hard by a low and a progetto. So this may not work out well for you if you uh, don't fall back and and start dishing out some damage. One thing about German tanks is you got to work those angles on them. Got to work those angles. Yep, yep, there you go. You got that low moving in. He's moving in hard. Uh, if I were you, I'd be falling back right now. Yep, okay. At least you took care of the LTTB. Now you got the low, an A44, 45 TP. And that Progetto. Now that Progetto knows where you're at. Right, so uh and if anything you need to draw them out so that your uh, WZ120 and your Scorpion and your J Panther can get some shots on. There's the A44. Yeah, I see I think you're just you're 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 Trying and he can dump three shells into you. He's obviously got you in an ammo rack there. Uh, I think you're 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 putting yourself up here for some trouble. At this point, Chaser, uh, it is time to fall back. All right, it's time to fall back, regroup, get in here where you can maybe do some hold down work. Okay, let your links light these guys up, and then your Leo and your WZ120, they're not really helping you right now. So if you're not going to fall back, get over here where the Progetto can't get shots on you. And maybe you can you can get him in, in, you know, shooting as they're coming through this area over here. Uh, but at least this way, you know, he's got a better shot at you than you do him. So, you yeah, know, just some things to think about. Game has slowed down a bit. We got a 45 TP coming in on your right. Not sure where the low went. All right, now he's reloaded, so he's got three shots to your one. Angle your tank a little bit more, I think. Got lucky on that one. I'll be honest with you. 
And now the A44 is bouncing off of you. Alright, so here comes your WZ120. There goes your Leo. WZ takes a shot. A44. I just think you're in a bad spot here. The accuracy of this gun is nice, don't get me wrong. Oh, push. Oh, he was pushing around in that Leo. I think he had a shot there. All right, now's your chance. Now's the time, since those two have pushed in with you, now's the time that you need to get in there. You need to get in there and help them, okay? Because that Progetto is, you know, he's a one-shot. A44 is a one-shot. It's now your turn to get up there and get in there with them. They jumped in to help. Now you can get up there and help them. Okay, the Progetto's down. And you get the A44. All right. So, backline sniping again. Uh, if that's your forte, if that's... If that seems to be the, the way that you want to play it, you know, that's fine. Um, doesn't fit my mode of play, but it's your tank game, not mine. <laughs> uh, you are side exposed your whole side to this guy. And he's got a shot on Yep, okay. So again, the, the 88... Is not an easy tank to, to play. Uh, it's not a terrible tank to play, to be honest with you. It's a, it's a good medium. Um, I just think it, you, know, you need to be a little more aggressive or find some better uh, uh, better use of the terrain. Uh, at this point, since you do have the binos, you need to get up there and help light things up. There's a Leo. I think you have a shot on him. You guys, are, your team is doing what they need to do. Is there a shot on that T-34? Do you have a shot on him? Nope, nothing on the T-34. Nothing on the Prince. Nothing on the Leo. Nothing on the J-Panther. So at this point, it's time to move. Get to a place where you can get some shots. Oh, that Leo sees you. You're able to bounce his shot. Now you're in a bad situation because he knows where you're at. Which means you're obviously seen. Got somebody on base. Already just missed you. SU-152. There you go. Hit him again. Well, if he did, we didn't see it. All right. There you go. Getting behind a little bit of bush here. shot on this J-Panther over here? Yes, we do. Alright, so you can you can obviously light him up. So you might you might have had a shot there, you might not have. But he's flanking you. He's getting on your flank. Okay, now here you definitely have a shot on him. Alright. Now he's got his front to you and he knows you're there. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but let's see. Oh, now, 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 there you go, there you go. Oh, he he must not have seen you, because <laughs> he had you lined up. All right, so we got the 152 still, the T-34, your bulldog's moving down on their links. And you're, you're being the eyes right now, because your other guys are all sitting back behind you. And you and the bulldog are lighting stuff up. So I'm thinking maybe if you went through this way, where you could kind of use the hills to protect you. There's the one. Oh, that's a you does. Yeah, and he's getting it right up behind that block. Yeah, you does knows where you're at, and here comes the one five two, and he's gonna light you up too. Ooh, got a shot into you. Yep, now you gotta do some side scraping. All 
All right, so you've lost your uh, bulldog. They still have a, they still have a lynx. Yep. Yeah. My guess is the lynx is coming around this way to get in behind you guys, since you're all focused on these guys right here. You need to push up. You need to give them some lights. They need to know what they're shooting at. Every time you move your hole, you're taking away your binos. You're taking away the total of, total effect. So either you gotta sit still, then fire up. There you go. There's a 34. He's got a shot into you. Oh, he's doing the reload. There you go, right there. Oh, right. No, this is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so you got you got saved there, buddy. You got saved. All right, and that's a win. That's a win. All right, so master first class, which is you know nothing to sneeze at. Uh, fire for effect. You got eighty nine thousand three hundred forty five in credits, one thousand six hundred eighty two in experience. Team wise, uh, you did 2,548 in damage and three kills. Gives you a base XP of 1,019. Right? So that's pretty good. I mean, you had the highest XP. You didn't have the highest damage amount. So what that tells me is that you were shooting tanks higher, higher tiered than you were. All right. Plus you had kills. All right. 20 shots. 15 hit, 12 penetrated. So out of 20, five just disappeared into space. And uh, what? Seven of them? Uh, no, eight of them didn't even penetrate. You did get 1,195 from 300 meters out, which is good. Um, you blocked 300 and you, you uh, detected 992. Detail-wise, you made some good credits, which is what a premium is supposed to do. It's supposed to make good credits, right? And you made some good experience, which you're probably converting to free experience. So words of advice. Words of advice is um, get rid of the binos on the medium. I'm, I'm sorry. I just I, I don't agree with it. Uh, I don't know. Binos go on TDs, um, they go on RD, and they go on snipers, uh, you know, like light tanks that you can get into a bush that have good camel, that the binos are actually helpful. Uh, the camel rating on this doesn't make it worthwhile, and uh, coated optics are going to help you much, much better because they're always on, all right? And then you're just building your crew up to, to for, you know, view range and stuff like that. Um, the binos are, are not going to help you because every time you twitch that, that hull or go forward or go backward, boom, they're off. And you're back down to where you should be with, uh, with coded, coded optics, if, if not less. Okay, so just a word of advice. Um, gun rammer, which I'm assuming you have in there. Uh, gun laying driver, vert stabs. Uh, you know, on most of my mediums, it's um, a rammer, optics. And a vert stab or, or even a gun laying drive. Or I'll even run, I might even take the optics off if I have a really good view range to begin with and I got a good crew in there and I'll run uh, vents. So um, it's just mediums are made to flank. They're made to get around to the left or the right and, and hit the heavies from the back or the sides. And um, though you're, you're doing pretty good as the, as the backline tree sniper, um, it's just not really utilizing the tank. Um, that, you know, as I see it. But that that's my opinion. Uh, you can take it for what it's worth. Um, I appreciate you sending in the video and, you know, keep keep sending them in. I hope, I hope I'm helping you here. So, anyway, that's Chaser392 in his uh, Panther 88 on Minsk in a standard battle. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Keep sending the videos in. We greatly appreciate the support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bonsai Duck out.